<coughs> a very good day to everyone so today I'll be making a short review of two books one is uh, this one the bullfinches mythology from uh, the leather bound Barnes and Noble collection and the other is the invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick <coughs> I'll start with this one so uh, if you have seen any of my previous videos you know that uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, leather bound uh, Barnes & Noble collections so this is from that uh, it has a beautiful cover as you can see it's gold inlaid uh, within black and uh, on the spine it, say, it says Bullfinch's Mythology the color scheme is even all throughout and it has three parts. The book is uh, divided into three parts the Age of Fable, the Age of Chivalry, and the Legends of Charles Mann. So, opening it up, this book is quite different from the other books in the Barnes and Noble Leatherbound collection because, well, <coughs> the pages, if you notice, uh, have a totally different font compared to most other uh, Barnes and Noble. Leather bound books. I do not know how how well the font uh, is coming out. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, and there are illustrations in the book, and it basically deals with. Uh, the mythology from uh, different parts uh, mainly I think it's Greek and Roman I, have, I haven't gone through the whole book yet so this is the start of the age of fable <clears throat> I was going through it uh, I've only read a uh, little of the beginning so every chapter is devoted to um, someone for example this chapter is devoted to Prometheus and Pandora and uh, the first chapter is just the introduction that introduces the various gods and uh, there are different chapters it's still con this is the age of fables chapter 18 is Meleager and Atlanta <coughs> so and then there's the age of chivalry I think that no that that's still age of chivalry deals with King Arthur and his knights so yes, that is the start of the Age of Chivalry. It's a red background. The pages are quite different, I would say, from um, the usual Barnes & Noble books. It's more uh, creamy variant, if you know what I mean. So King Arthur and his Knights nice, chapter 1 it's the introduction and then there are uh, poems included in it as well <clears throat> the first part where I was written uh, where I was going through had a huge part where Chaucer's poems and the various um, references were being discussed in the introduction that's in the age of uh, fables I, th I think um, classical uh, poems are heavily discussed all throughout the book with uh, heavy references <clears throat> so that's chapter 6 Sir Gawain I'm, uh, if you have read uh, Arthur, Round Table of Arthur and his Knights any story from uh, King Arthur you must be knowing a few of these names like I know Sir Gawain and then it goes on to the Legends of Charles Man. let's see where this start I think yeah, I missed that So this is the still there. Okay, there uh, it's divided into countries as well, I guess. So it, it discusses here hero myths of the British race, and chapter one starts with Beowulf. Where does Legend of Charlemagne start? Let's see. I think there's the start. Maybe you know that's not the start. Yeah. So 
this is where the legends of Charles Magn start <clears throat> there are full color illustrations as well as noir illustrations and um, black and white it's a, it's a very varied book in terms of illustrations there are lots of illustrations all throughout the book and there's a glossary on the back as well which um, refers to everything that you uh, may not understand for example uh, the first word here I don't know if it's focusing or not it's uh, Abdul Rahman and then Aberfaw and Alice Alphenor in case you forget the names of someone uh, and you're going through it you can simply get to the glossary and uh, check it out and there are art credits at the end and finally the book ends with another cover illustration this is in keeping with the front cover illustration which has <coughs> uh, I think that's Perseus bound to the sails as he was uh, sailing through the through the islands wanted to gain knowledge if I'm not wrong I do not remember the whole story so yeah that's Bullfinch's mythology for you beautiful book um, I would definitely um, recommend getting this one if you're uh, even lightly into mythology it was, it's by Thomas Bullfinch it's a very old book and um, I'm really glad that <clears throat> Barnes & Noble decided to reprint it in premium versions so yeah here we go on to the next book the invention of Hugo Cabaret <clears throat> okay this is as widely different from this book as it could be this book mainly focuses on <clears throat> narratives prose writings this one deals directly with graphic novel kind of idea because um, this one <coughs> has less to deal with um, writing and more to deal with images the images directly convey the story for example there are pages upon pages which do not have any text at all the whole thing I mean you you read the text you read the text here and then you go on and this is the story continuing there there is no uh, writing as such you have to infer the story from the illustration but it's very easy the fonts are very large see the fonts are fonts are very large and widely spaced so you would have no problems reading them the mark the each page has a black margin and most of them have illustrations it would be fair to say this is this is a book that is that uh, relies on the illustration in order to convey the story the story the illustrations are the story I mean yeah so anyway starting from the front the this a red cover and it says the invention of Hugo Cabaret and there's a edging yeah and then the story starts part one is the thief and it begins like this the moon it's a picture of the moon and then and then it zooms on to Paris so you see the narrative it, it's like a flowing picture it's more like a movie than a book and that is what makes this essentially unique this has like black edges because every um, if the page ends are all black so yeah <coughs> it's a beautiful book hardcover and definitely worth getting if you're into interesting books the cover from front to back is Hugo okay and uh, keep the cover out here yeah. and there's a um, there's a stamp on it that says the Caldecott medal it won the Caldecott medal I guess I really do not know so yeah uh, this has no ribbon uh, unlike the Bullfinch's mythology which comes with a golden ribbon let's see uh, 
yeah the golden ribbon which is quite standard in all the uh, Barnes & Noble leather bound hard bound uh, books and yeah so that's it the two books that I reviewed The Invention of Hugo Cabret by Brian Selznick and Bullfinch's Mythology by Thomas Bullfinch I hope you like the video I'll include um, links for both of these books uh, in the description below because someone asked for um, links to the books and uh, if you have any suggestions or any uh, comments that you wish to give feel free to do it and that's it thank you everyone happy reading